Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video, plecos, plecos, plecos. That's right folks, a pleco-centric video for you. Now, kind of known as a guppy guy, I do a lot of guppy breeding. I've been importing lately for guppies and, and buying from wholesalers. Then I keep them in quarantine for a while, treat them, make sure they're healthy and sell them. Um, but I also sell plecos. I've been breeding plecos for well over a year now. Most of my plecos are my own homebred plecos or plecos from other breeders. As a matter of fact, I just got four different kinds. I think actually five different kinds of plecos. Um, and I want to show them to you. Kind of a pleco unboxing, if you will. Why don't you guys go ahead, grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage, and stand by. All right, fishy folks, I drove out to uh, that fish place, which is uh, the video I did last, the fish store tour. That place is enormous. I met the owners, great guy. The employees there were really nice. The store looked well kept and clean, uh, and pretty well stocked, even though the owner was like, you know, we're out of a lot of stuff. They're missing a lot of livestock and some dry goods, and obviously it's not their fault, it's suppliers are just with the pandemic going on. Anyway, enough about that. So I met uh, a buddy of uh, mine, Mike, out there, and uh, he sold me some plecos, and then another breeder who I, I knew from Facebook sold me some plecos, and he was the transporter. So let's see what we got here. Long, thin, lemon, blue-eyed lemon, plecos and regular blue eye lemon pleco so we have some smaller blue eye lemon plecos on the website uh, these will go into quarantine and then uh, there might be two sizes I have to see what the size differences are of course long fins aren't on the website yet they are going on the website uh, so I have to plop and drop now if you're not familiar with the plop and drop it's that's exactly what it is you plop them out of the bag into the net drop them into the tank there's no acclimation, drip acclimation, pouring, you know, half a cup of water every 15 minutes or whatever people say to do. I don't do that. I plop and drop and I've never had a problem. The only time you would want to like drip acclimate is if the pH is considerably different and you just got them. Like you went to your fish store, it's an hour away or less. You come home, their pH is six, your pH is eight. Then you're going to want to drip acclimate. But anytime they're in the mail or you know, these have been in, in bags for probably five, six hours. That to me is long enough that we could have a problem with a pH drop as you open them up and let air in. So I'm going to, these are long fins. I'm gonna try to figure out which are long fins and which aren't, and then uh, we'll plop and drop. Well, that was pretty simple. I have two bags of long fins, four bags of regular, uh, lemon blue eye plecos. Now I have a trio, well three lemon blue eye plecos are too small to sex. I don't know, long fins. I don't know if, uh, you know, I'm gonna get any fry from them or not, but uh, those are in a breeding tank, so they gotta grow out and then I gotta sex them. These are gonna go in a holding tank, I guess you have to say. We'll quarantine them and then we'll start shipping in a week. So if you order them, when you see this video, they will ship, because this video I'm filming on a Saturday, but it's not gonna not gonna be released until next Sunday. So you know what I'm saying? I know, the life of a YouTuber, what are you gonna do? All right, here we go, plop and drop. I'm gonna do the regular lemon blue eyes. We're gonna get the man knife out, here we go. I gotta get this sharpened. If you're in South Jersey, I, I got a guy, I got a guy, I talked to him, then I couldn't get to him. My friend, if you're watching this and you can sharpen my man knife, I will drive out to you one day, not on the weekend because it's beach season now and people are crazy, but I will come. Anyway, here we go, plop and drop. This is gonna suck. Because there's a lot of water in here. Mike, you, you fill these up, a lot of water. All right, here we go. Plop and drop, you can't see. Spilling water everywhere. Literally spilling water everywhere. Come on, buddy. New home. Gotta make sure we didn't get everything out. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this like this. Then I'm gonna put this over here so you can see the pop and drop. All right, let's do this again. You know what? I'm not gonna use the mat knife. We're gonna take it out of the bag. Nice thick bags. Love the crinkle. Yeah, I just got all wet, who cares? Pleco poop water, yeah. The ladies love it. What do you think of the pink shirt? My boy Scott, I saw him today. He was like, eh, I like the pink shirt. Real men wear pink, plus I look good in pink. You can buy it on Teespring, 30% off, remember that, until the end of this month, July. 
Uh, 30% off. Thank you, 30 is the code. Teespring.com. Link somewhere up here for you guys. Plop and drop. Oh, the plecos look so nice. See if I can do this without getting wet this time. I doubt it because, you know, I'm an idiot. Oh, I didn't get wet. Ting! Love these bags. I'm gonna, I might save them just so I can crinkle them when I want. That's probably a fetish of some people, right? That's creepy. Lots of water. Oh, God. Oh, I got myself with a rubber band. Gotta wear safety glasses. Well done, Mike. Well done. Not me, the guy that bagged them. All right, I'm gonna put them in a the tank. Stand by. They look good. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these bags that I didn't destroy, I'm gonna put them over here for now. Take my man knife and, and put it away so we don't cut ourselves. Safety first, people. Take this box full of water and rubber bands, rest it over there. Now, long fins. Long fin, blue eye, lemon blue eye. Yeah, if only I knew what they were called. Long fin lemon blue eye plecos. One more bag. Hold on. Tink. Oh, in a tank. I gotta remember that. I don't think I could aim it if I wanted to. This is why I don't use rubber bands when I ship, because the bags leak. I tie them, but that's just me. More long fins. Lots of water. More water in these six bags than in all the bags of that import order combined. Alright, we're going to get these in a tank. Man, those are sexy. Alright, I'm going to drain the plop and drop bucket. Refill your healthy snack and beverage if needed. Stand by. Alright, fishy folks. The next batch, they're in a bucket. Um, yeah, see this tractor supply bucket. I wanted to help support my friend Kayla because she works at Tractor Supply in Florida, though. So, anyway, there's like a hundred super red plecos in here. Oops, I told you super red plecos. And normally I don't do this, but I decided I'm going to bring an air pump. So, I just want to show you this is the Aquarium Co op USB air pump. Full disclosure, Corey sent this to me like a year ago for free. I didn't really think much of it. I thought I would never need it. I didn't really, you know, it wasn't really a thing for me, but I decided to give it a try. And so it's a USB. I plugged it into my car's USB outlet and it, I pumped air in it. I also use, he also sent, he sent me a bunch of stuff, quite frankly. Um, and one of the things, one of the other things he sent me was the Zis um, Never Clog Air Stone. Um, this is the little bag it came in. I mean, it's an air stone. I don't know how special it is, but did a great job. This little pump, though, this thing is tiny. I think it's like nine bucks on his website. I looked it up when he sent it to me, um, but it did a great job. I'm surprised. This little air pump puts out a lot of air. Um, I mean, it's not that deep, but if you're going to, like, travel a couple hours with a, a lot of fish in a bucket, not a bad thing to have USB air pump, especially if you have USBs in the car. My 21 or my uh, 2020 Subaru Ascent has, I think, eight USB outlets. I'm not a salesman. I do work for Subaru, but I'm not a salesman. I work in quality assurance. You know that. But anyway, not a bad deal. Check out AquariumCoop.com. I don't, I don't normally push Aquarium Co-op stuff, but I got it for free. I'm telling you, I got it for free. It's a pretty nice little pump. I'm gonna unplug it. 
because I plugged it in when I got home because I don't know how long I would be I would take to get these out of the uh, out of the water uh, these so I got long fins and regulars and these might be both let me look in the other bucket Well, unfortunately, there's long fins and regular in here, and I thought they were going to be split, so I'm going to put them in two different tanks because, you know, spread the bio load, but I'm going to plop and drop it, and because I'm pouring from a bucket, I'm using my fancy net holder that my subscriber, one of the subscribers, John, sent me. John, thank you so much. I really like it. It works great. Um, all it is is, if you haven't seen it before, it's... PVC with these like eyes like this and they slide and you can make it any size you want depending on how big your your net is or how big your uh, Bucket is how wide the mouth is so I just make it like this Like this and then I put the net caddy corner Like this and then I'm going to pour the plecos out, and hopefully we don't spill water everywhere. All right, here we go, folks. <laughs> it's moving. There's gotta be 50 super reds in here. I don't know if you can, anyway, stand by. I think I'm gonna end up putting them in the same tank and then going through and separating the long fins, which is not something I wanted to do. You know, plecos aren't the easiest to catch. All right. I don't know. We'll see. See, I think all these are regular. So, no, I'm going to put these in a different tank. I'm going to use my, uh, my, my brain thinking. So we don't overflow that bucket, I'm going to the other empty bucket. It's brain thinking right there, folks. Brain thinking. Oh God, come on little guys. Swim like a salmon. They're so cute when they're babies. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, I'm going to let those get settled. I'll take some footage of them in the tanks. We'll talk about what I feed them and that kind of thing. And don't forget, michaelsfishroom.com, those plecos, uh, longfin calicos, regular calicos, albinos, longfin albinos, and really nice regular brown plecos, like with spots on them. They're not snowballs. They're not white spots or like a yellow spot. But I had a plego guy tell me those are the nicest regular brown bristlenose he's seen in a really long time. So don't take my word for it. Look at the website, michaelsfishing.com. See you in a minute. All right, fishy folks. It's actually a week later. I've let these guys settle for a week before I filmed them. That's not true. I just forgot and got lazy. And as I'm editing the video this morning, Saturday, it's about 6.30. 
in the morning I realized I don't have any footage for the end so let me show you these guys in the tank these are the lemon blue eyes and just just a side shot um, I don't know they're about two inches long so a little bigger than normally I sell but they are really nice and healthy um, and uh, you know eating some wood right there very nice looking plecos and then next to them we have the long fin albinos that I got let me see if I can find any yeah there are some in the back uh, all these guys are now on the website michaelsfishroom.com take a look website redesign is almost finished but I want to get these guys up in case you guys wanted them keep in mind the post office still is sucking uh, most of my packages are taking between four and five days uh, luckily I I know how to pack them and they're healthy fish so the the fish are surviving quite easily I had a discussion with my postmaster and she basically said expect that to happen for uh, the foreseeable future here are some super reds there's a long fin super red right there now on the website stunning looking pleco there's a little baby or juvenile in this tank there's also regular super red plecos if you remember uh, they came mixed in the bucket earlier in this video and uh, I just haven't separated them yet uh, there's a lot of um, French cut green bean debris floating around that's what I fed yesterday and these pieces look like they're a little small and obviously if they're not going to settle the, the plecos aren't going to get them so I may turn the air down a little bit see if I can get that to settle and let them eat away in this tank are the regular super reds also water is a little cloudy uh, from overfeeding which is what I do with my plecos I think these guys are, are eating some wood I do have quite a few more caves to add here to get some breeding going on you can see these guys in the cave I don't really think they're it's breeding behavior as much as they like to hang out in a cave um, I mean that that big one on the bottom may be breeding size but I don't know if there's a breeding male in there I think that's a female because I don't remember seeing a big male so it's possible it's possible I missed it I uh, love to get these guys breeding and and uh, you know selling them myself besides buying from local breeders again these aren't I didn't breed these these are from high quality local breeders that I trust that do a great job and uh, pretty happy with with the quality of the stock so we have uh, lemon blue eyes on the website now long fin albinos super reds and long fin super reds uh, here are the original long fins I mean here are the original blue eyes that I got I was selling these last week um, but the other ones are done in quarantine so I'll probably sell those bigger ones and let these little guys grow out a little bit they're so cute also up in here in the uh, in the sponge filter farm uh, I've got a couple of mollies and some guppy fry that my buddy Joel gave me he gave me about I don't know 200 fry this week most of them went out in the pond but I tried to separate the mollies because I don't want mollies eating guppies plus my angelfish tank upstairs has a lot of algae so I'm gonna probably when those mollies get bigger and don't fit in the angelfish's mouth I'm gonna put them up there see if they can there's some mollies all hanging out uh, see if they can't help out with the with the algae issue there's also long fin albinos in here I mean there's so many places for them to hide I don't know if we're gonna see them um, that's what I was trying to show you actually the long fin albinos in here but can't find them we also have these aren't on the website yet because they're too small to ship but these are super red mutts they're basically super reds and calicos together like that one really looks like a super red um, maybe a little dirty but but then there's some that are like calico colors but with the super red background or uh you can see some underneath the filter kind of kind of right there anyway uh these these are still too small to sell um i don't really like shipping plecos when they're small they don't seem to do as well as the guppies but look at these look speaking of guppies look at these guys oof big ear leopards can't wait for me to get the females back to them uh if you remember I had that import order and uh, we had quite a few DOAs uh, for this this strain well they're supposed to come in tomorrow Sunday today when you watch the video but today's Saturday so tomorrow Sunday but you'll be watching it Sunday because it won't release till Sunday you know what I mean and um, those will go through quarantine then they'll go on the website angelfish 
Maybe we'll be on the website, maybe we won't. All right, I'm just, now I'm doing a fish room tour. Hold on, let me let me show you all these baby plecos. Because baby plecos are the cutest. Look at them, they're so adorable. Look how many there are. Yeah, remember that storm we had about two, three weeks ago? This is the result of that. I find plecos breed when there's huge storms and the, the barometric pressure drops. Similar to cichlids, I think, at least angels from, in my experience of breeding, so. All right, fishy folks, that's it. That does it for the, the new pleco stock on Michael's Fish Room. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to check out, I don't know what you're gonna check out. Check out my website. See ya. Hey, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, pleco-centric video for you. That's right, folks. I picked up a bunch of plecos. Uh, you'll see what kind in a minute, but uh, you know, I'm kind of known as a guppy guy, but I also breed and sell my own plecos. These sort of plecos, I did not breed. They're all from home breeders. Uh, I went to uh, first blooper of the day. fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's fish room today plecos plecos and even more plecos that's right pl folks not plokes that's folks take two dummy <coughs> fine 